All right, we're doing another, for the 25th time, video of the arm. Okay, so this is the larger arm. This is the other side of the body, right? This small arm, and this is the large arm. Okay, they're opposite, so you can work with both. So I like to start down here. There's your clavicle again. All right, here's where your scapula is. There's the medial board of the scapula. All right, there's the other side of the scapula. A couple of things to get out of the way. This is part of the pectoralis major. It's not the whole thing, but pectoralis major is here. That flexes the shoulder, adducts the shoulder, and internally rotates the shoulder. There's your deltoid. Take that off in a minute. I want to point out on the other side here. There's a little bit here of the trapezius that's attached to the spine of the scapula, a little bit of the trapezius there. Again, I wouldn't pin the trapezius here. I'd put it on one of the models that has the full trap. But underneath the trap, that's where the supraspinatus is. The supraspinatus muscle is here under the trap. It's above the spine of the scapula. So there's a supraspinatus. Okay, so I'll put this back here. Okay, deltoid. Okay, abduction shoulder. There's the humerus, there's the head. Now you can see all the rotators attached. Like I said, underneath here is where the supraspinatus is. There's the spine of the scapula. There's infraspinatus. Teres minor, teres major, subscapularis, rotation shoulder. There's a little piece of the latissimus dorsi. And then we move to the brachium. Four muscles in the brachium, biceps brachii, has two heads. You can see one of the heads here going to the coracoid process, short head. The other head is buried, biceps brachii, coracobrachialis, brachialis, triceps brachii. Biceps brachii, flexion and supination elbow, coracobrachialis, flexion shoulder, brachialis, flexion elbow, triceps brachii, extension elbow. Tri means three. Again, there's the edge of your shoulder, lateral. Here's your armpit, medial, lateral, medial. Lateral head, little medial head, long head. Lateral head, medial head, long head. Common tendon into the olecranon process. Right. Here's that anconius muscle. Working along with the tricep, there's your ankle. He's a little clearer on this one as compared to the smaller arm. Now you come to antibrachium. Start at the V. Okay. Little guy, pronator teres. Big guy, brachioradialis. Okay. Pronator teres, pronation of the elbow. Supination, pronation. Brachioradialis works along with biceps brachii and brachialis. Flexion elbow. We're going to go around from pronator teres all the way around. Okay. We have one pronator teres, two, follow the tendon up to the carpal bone, three, follow the tendon up and four, follow the tendon up. All three of them end at the carpal bones. Flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, flexor carpi ulnaris, right? Flexor carpi ulnaris, palmaris longus, flexor carpi radialis. One, two, three, flex the wrist. Flex the wrist. Here, like I said earlier, 
we take those off, this has a better representation of the flexor digitorum. See all that muscle there? And underneath here, all of this is the flexor digitorum superficialis for the second, third, fourth, fifth finger. Flexion of the fingers. Beautiful representation of the flexor digitorum superficialis. And there it goes. Right? Jumps right off. Underneath, flexor digitorum profundus. On this side, going to these four fingers, flexor digitorum profundus. Next to it, on the opposite side, second muscle, this is for the thumb. Flexor pollicis, thumb is pollicis, longus. So, the one that jumped off. You can't take that home. Students are trying to steal the models again. <laughs> Flexor digitorum <laughs> superficialis. Pop it off. Now you can take it home. <laughs> Flexor digitorum profundus. Two flexors, four, two, three, four, five. Thumb has its own, there it is. Flexor pollicis longus. Let's keep going around. There's your flexor carpi ulnaris, and nicely done on here, right? They, they pulled the anconius down, so look at how nice that is, the two sisters. Flexor carpi ulnaris, extensor carpi ulnaris, side by side. Extensor, flexor. Follow the tendon up onto the little finger, digiti minimi, this little skinny one. Use a stick. I know you complain about my big fat finger. There's the extensive digiti minimi. Next to it, wider. Follow the tendons. Two, three, four. Extensor digitorum. Extensor digiti minimi. Extensor digitorum. There's also an extensor indices but it's tucked away underneath there. You can't see it. Almost there. Gotta get back here. There's those thumb ones again. Big, fat, abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis, and there's the tendon of the extensor pollicis longus. All right, abductor pollicis, abduction. Extension, this way, extension. On the other model, remember, we were able to take this off and you can see the three muscles underneath. Can't do that here. Abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis, and tendon of extensor pollicis longus. To the radialis. It's two muscles. These are the extensors of the rest. Extensor carpi. Here you go, stick, sorry. Extensor carpi radialis longus. Extensor carpi radialis brevis. Extensor carpi radialis longus. Extensor carpi radialis brevis. Extension of the rest. Brachioradialis. Back to the beginning. Flexor retinaculum, area of the carpal tunnel as we discussed. Extensor retinaculum. 